The Twins, with their big lead, the Astros, the Dodgers, uh, we have really three divisions that are heavily weighted now, uh, ready to be runaways. Who do you think ends up with the largest division lead at the end of the year? Well, this is the Indians' last stand. This, this series right here, if the Twins, they lost the first game. If they lose this series, the Indians, uh, they're done. They're waving the white flag. They're going to trade everybody they can, as they should. Now, the, the Dodgers have a huge lead. The Astros have a huge lead. I think the Twins will end up with the largest lead just because the division is so much worse than where the Twins okay. are at. So there's not a real contender. There's not a, okay, you look at yeah. the Dodgers. They have the Rockies who are, made the playoffs the last two years, and they're charging. You also have the Astros. The A's at some point are going to make a run. They were too good last year. They're too good of an offense. They're too good of a team. And they always seem to find a 10-game winning streak out of nowhere. Whereas the, you look at the Twins division, they have the Indians who at some point are going to have to give it up and sell. The White Sox aren't ready yet. The Royals haven't been very good, and the Tigers aren't very good. So the, the Twins can just rack up wins in their own division, whereas even the Astros with the A's and, and the Rangers are playing better above 500. They can't do that in their division. Only the Twins have that division where it's like, okay, we're playing the Tigers. We should win two out of three every time. The White Sox, two out of three every time. The Royals, two out of three every time. And once the Indians sell... Who knows what yeah. they're going to be? It's been a dramatic fall for the Indians. It's Quick, un too. unfortunate. Quick, really? Yeah. Because, and, well, well they, lost they lost Kluber. He, he got hurt. Bauer hasn't been the same this year. The, their starting pitching is Carrasco hasn't been as good this year. Their bullpen's kind of fallen apart other than Brad Hand at the back end. So they have no offense, which, why? They have good names, Lindor. I mean, I know they didn't make any splashes. They lost Michael yeah. Brantley. Brantley was big. Lindor hasn't been what he was supposed to be. Uh, Ramirez, Ramirez has been terrible since the point. second half last year, so they need help, and the only help I see is by trying to make some moves and get ready for next year. Yeah, and the Twins, even if they win, just, they want to avoid the Yankees uh, because it seems like... <laughs> the Twins don't want any part of the Yankees. Every time they fall to the Yankees. Yankees. What about the impact? Uh, a leadoff guy and his leadership, you heard his manager talking about it, McCutcheon out for the Phillies. Well, I think Gabe Kapler summed it up perfectly. Not only his impact on the field, but in that clubhouse. He was a leader. You saw him with the handshakes with every single guy. I mean, how the heck can you remember 24 other handshakes with every guy he has? Well, that's incredible. And his energy, his presence, and the biggest thing is his professionalism. Andrew McCutcheon, when he steps into the batter's box leading off games, he gives you a 6-7, 8 pitch at bat every single time, it feels like. And he gets on base. He takes walks. He's a darn good left fielder, too. So they... Not only the offensive side of it in the clubhouse, they also lose a great left fielder and a great presence. So this hurts the Phillies. Yes, they got Jay Bruce. Yes, they brought Jay Bruce in. And they, luckily, they did it before they even knew about this. But it weakens their defense. Jay Bruce is, is, is a nice player, but he's not McCutcheon. Herrera's out, so they have to move Kingery right, to center point. field, who was kind of their utility guy. It just weakens them their whole lineup and defensively. And let's not forget, yes, he'll be around. But when you're not playing... It is really hard to be a clubhouse president. All right, so the July 31st, it's that one final trade deadline for the Major League season. Uh, we talk about Phillies needing pitching, so now do they need an outfielder? What's, <laughs> what's, the, what's the priority? I think the Phillies could use a pitcher, starter, a reliever, and an outfielder. <laughs> That's three. They need three, so they need to get on it, and they will. Is that just to win the division? or, or is it... if they Look, the Phillies came into this year after the moves they made with Rio Muto, Segura, McCutcheon, Harper... They came into this year saying, we're going for the World Series. So, yes, getting to the playoffs, it's a great story. Like, if Philly gets to the playoffs, yeah, hey, we made the playoffs. But they came into this season, World Series, to win the World Series. Well, they I'm, need help to do that right now. Yeah, and they need I mean, they're doing this. They're hanging around first without Harper being Harper, and hopefully he'll, he'll become the player they thought he would be.